Bwana wa majeshi ameinuliwa jioni ya leo. Haleluya. Haya piga makofi yetu kwa Yesu. May the Lord meet us at the point of need because he's a neighbor God. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, we want to thank you for this day. Thank you for taking care of us throughout the day. We have come, Jehovah God, so that you can speak to us through your word. We are already listening, Jehovah God. Speak to us. Use me as your vessel, Jehovah God. If there is anything that can hinder you from using me, Jehovah God, I repent. I repent on behalf of everybody here. Jehovah God, cleanse us with the precious blood of Jesus. We are ready to listen to you. Bless us. And we pray, trusting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our topic today is a God of many chances. Our topic today is God of many chances. Yes. We pass through difficult times, difficult moments. Maybe we are challenged in our families. We could be challenged because of joblessness, sickness, financial crisis. And therefore, you find that most of the time, we go through depression because of the situation that we are in. Are we together? We go through repeated battles. Battle after another. Battle after another one. 
thinking that we are through with one, another one comes in. Maybe we go through rejection. I'm just mentioning the challenges that we go through as children of God. We could be going through rejection in our families or even in the church. Maybe we have an intention of pursuing our education. Every time we save some money so that we can take off, a crisis comes in. And therefore we, have, we seem like we have been rotating on the same axis without a breakthrough because of the challenges that we go through. And maybe we have been branded invalid. Invalid. Because maybe our time of waiting is expired. Maybe some people will look at us and say nothing good that can come off of this one. I know everybody, everyone here has a story to tell. That at one particular time or even now I have something which has bothered me for a long period of time. We seem to be losing hope Maybe our faith has dwindled because of immense challenges. And it's like we are almost giving up because we have waited. We have waited. And it's like things are not happening. It's like it will never happen. It's like I'm used to this kind of status. I am here to tell you that. Jesus Christ can write a new story in your life. Jesus Christ can give you a new name. Maybe you have no name. Maybe you have been branded all sorts of names. Because there is nothing that seems to be good from you. Hakuna kitu chochote kinaweza toka kizuri kutoka kwa huyu. Hakuna. Hmm? I want to tell you that Jesus Christ can rewrite your story. Continue positioning yourself there without giving up. Shikilia imani yako. Na ujue Yesu Christo yupo. Na ataenda kutenda. Never give up in life. Never give up. Because Jesus can change your name. Jesus can rewrite your story. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ebu twende katika kitabu John chapter 5 John chapter 5 we'll read from verse 1 to 9. And remember our topic today is God of many chances. When one door is closed God opens another one. Because we worship a God of many chances. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now, there is in Jerusalem, near the sheep gate, a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethsaida, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been invalid. I'd like you to underline the word invalid. One of them, one who was there had been invalid for 38 years years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition on for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Can you underline that one? Do you want to get well? Start sampling yourself. 
ask yourself, evaluate yourself, and ask yourself, what have I been going through? And then, remember Jesus is asking you, do you want to be okay? Do you want to be well? Verse 7, Sir, the invalid, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up! Pick up your mat and walk. Amen? Get up! Pick up your mat and walk. Nine, and at once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which he, this took place was a Sabbath. Praise be the name of the Lord. Brethren, as human beings, we go through difficult times. We go through difficult times. And at times, we tend to think that we are all alone. And at times, we tend to look for help from a different source. Not knowing that our help comes from the Lord. And we start giving many, many excuses. Where are the lame who are laying? The pool. That the meaning of Bethsaida in Greek means hunt. You know, hunting, give a chase, pursue for something. Apo palikuwa ni pali pakutafuta, or desperately, hunting for something. And lame, the blind, all sorts of people who had problems, they used to come there because they were hunting for help. And do you know that? In that pool, it was in Nazareth. And, no, and they believed that. Oh, it was documented that. Nothing can come out, nothing good can come out of Nazareth. But here, the lame who was, had lied there for 38 years, and every time the water was stirred, because he didn't have, he was lame, he didn't have, he, did, he was not strong enough to wake up, get into the pool first, so that he can be healed. Somebody else could get in there before this one gets up. And I would like to believe that. It, it is like, yeah, alikuwa mezoea tukuka hapo. Alikuwa mezoea kuka hapo. Kwa maana kila wakati ya kiinuka, mwingine anafika mbele yake. Kila wakati maji ikitipuliwa, wengine wanainuka, wanaingia, wanapona, ye anabaki hapo. Na labda ikawa, hameishi katika maisha ya kuzunika. Kwa maana, ye anafikiria, sasa ni nani ataweza kuniinua aniweke pale kwa ile birika. Kwa maana mimi sina uwezo. Hakuna mtu ananishughulikia na akaendelea kukaa katika hiyo hali. Akaendelea kukaa katika hiyo hali. Basi Yesu Kristo according to the word of God. Now there is in Jerusalem the sheep gate a pool which is in Aramaic they called Bethsaida and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been invalid. Alikuwa mezoya kuka hapo. 38 years is a long period of time. It is a very long period of time, 38 years. Mutu hapa ambaya kona miaka thaladhini na nani, ni mutu wa wengine wa kona familia, wamefanya mambo maku. And can you imagine lying in the same place with expectation and there's nothing coming forth and you are just lying there. Ujui unaelekea wapi, utatoka wapi, unaenda wapi. Unaata ni kama umepoteza tumaini. 
38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been there in this condition for a long time, he asked him, you want to be well? Maybe sometimes Jesus is talking to us and asking us, do you want to be well? Beth, that situation you have been going through, it is a long period of time you have been in that status. Do you need help? Do you want to be okay? Maybe you have been suffering from many challenges that I've mentioned there. Rejection from your families. Joblessness. Any kind of challenge. And you have been there. Mpaka saa zingine utapata wanasema hii shida yangu. Mpaka umeanza kuiona, unaanza kusema hii ni shida ama ugonjwa yangu. And you have been there. You have tried. But umeanza kutafuta excuse. Jesus has said, "You want to be well? Look at the answer." Sir, the invalid replied, "Have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred." While I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Jesus is standing at your doorstep and asking you, yes, my daughter, my son, I know what you have been going through. I know you have been that status for a long period of time. And even at times, you, you, you shy off from sharing it with your friends because it could be a sad story. Maybe you come from a family where nothing good has been ever mentioned in that family. Nothing good comes out of that family. The family has no name. And then when Jesus asks you, you give an excuse. Unasema, unajua our family is like that? Familia yetu iko hivyo. Kama ni ugonjwa, unajua kwetu tuko na ugonjwa fulani. Many other times that Jesus is knocking, asking you, do you want to be well? And instead of giving an answer, yes, Lord, I'm here. Help me. We start giving out excuses. See, na mtu wa kunisaidia. Nimejaribu kutafuta kazi, hata sijaona mtu yote anaiza kunisaidia. You even go to an extent of blaming others, even your relatives. By the way, my cousin is a bank manager. Nimeenda kwake ameshindwa kunisaidia. You fail to understand that your help comes from the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We fail to understand where our help comes from. Maybe you are a husband here or you are a parent. You are not able or you are a mother. You are not even able to provide for your family. You have been like that. Miaka nenda miaka rudi. Umekuwa katika hiyo hali lakini kila mara unajipa hapi sababu. Che, unajua kwamba Yesu anaweza? Yesu Kristo anaweza. Yesu Kristo anaweza kuponya. Yesu Kristo anaweza akabadilisha hiyo hali. Anaweza akakupatia jina mpya. Jesus Christ can rewrite your story to his honor and glory. Yes. Labda unajiambia kwetu hata sijawaiona mtu amepata degree. Kwa kwetu hakuna watu hawana akili ya masomo. You give yourself so many excuses. And therefore unakubali tu kukaa hapo. Inaweza kuwa ni comfort zone because your family, you according to your thinking, you know your family is like that. But Jesus Christ came to save us. Jesus Christ came to change the story. The blood that Calvary changed everything. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu anaweza kubadilisha story yako. Anakuuliza, do you want to be well? Do you want to be well? Staying the same status. Hali ya ukiwa. Hali ya umaskini miaka nenda miaka rudi. Hali ya matibabu miaka yote miaka nenda miaka rudi na hila hali haijawahi badilika na tunaye Yesu ambaye ni mweza yote I want to give you an example 
It's just the other day, a few years ago, our pastor, Mrs. Uh, Reverend Dorothy, thought unwell. And I remember uh, she fell sick when we were at uh, Kasarani prayer conference. And we had to abandon everything, and I took her to Kenyatta because the temperature was very high. That was the beginning of the challenges, health challenges in our life. And uh, uh, when the family took a step forward uh, to do further examinations so that the, maybe the problem could be diagnosed, yes, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And you know what the doctor told her? I want to give you just an example. The doctor told her, you have to move very fast. Because you've got like seven days and you will be no more. You have to move very fast. If you, are, you don't go to India immediately, in seven days you will be no more. Thank God for the pastoral team and the leadership. They moved very fast. And before seven days, she was already at India and they had started on medication. Today, God, God has written her story. She goes everywhere. Creating awareness that Jesus heals cancer. Jesus can change your story. Jesus Christ can rewrite your story. Here is this lame man at Bethsaida who had an excuse that every time the water is turned, I have no body to lift me and put me up there so that I can receive my healing. Maybe you have been stagnating in one place. Giving yourself excuses. Not knowing that Jesus Christ is able to do it for you. You only need to trust. Forget about other excuses. Stop looking for other people to help you. We worship a God of many chances. We worship a God of many chances. Here the lame man could not get somebody to push him. To be the side. But Jesus used another method. And asked him, do you want to be well? Get up. We worship a God of many chances. And therefore we don't have to be stuck looking for help from people. Our help comes from the Lord. And the door is open. The door is open for us to say, Jesus Christ, change my story. Change my story and give me a new name. You will hear where you Huyu hawezi hata akapata kazi. Kwa hakuna mtu anaye ushaona mmoja hata mmoja ako na katukutu ama boda boda. Au wako hivyo? Hmm? We are branded all sorts of names. We are rejected. We suffer and stay in the same status for many years. This is high time that we call in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And tell him, yes, we are here. We want to be well. Then, uh, sir, the invalid. Even the Bible is, tell, is calling him the invalid. Because he had overstayed. He is the expired date was over. Hmm? The Bible is calling him the invalid. Because he had overstayed. Maybe you have a situation in your life and you have been in that situation for many years. I want to tell you, Jesus Christ can change that situation. You only need to trust in the Lord and tell the Lord, Jesus Christ, come forth for me. Ah, the time of wilderness is over. I cannot stay here anymore. You died on the cross for me. Jesus Christ, come for my aid. Bona yesu asifiwe. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. That is the excuse that the lame man gave. Then Jesus Christ said to him, Get up, pick your mat, and walk. It is possible. Within a minute, Mambo ikabadilika. Ikabadilika kwa maana yesu wetu hakona uweza. And, at, and 
at once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. And the day on which this took place was a Sabbath. Ali chukua gondoro yake. Na katendea. Yesu Christo ali muliza, do you want to be well? He said, he gave an excuse. We give many excuses. Not knowing that we worship a God of many chances. If we miss one chance, it's like, oh, it's lost. That is not the case. This man stayed there for 38 years. And I am sure he must have lost hope. And that is why he was giving excuses. Every time I try this, when Guinea Ladies who have been faithful unto the Lord. Kwa kila wakati wakichumbiwa, inaisha hivyo. Kila wakati wakichumbiwa, inaisha hivyo. Wengine hata wameanza kuitwa majina. Wachana na huyo. Jesus Christ can change your story. Jesus Christ can rewrite your story. And you begin a new life in Christ Jesus. Maisha ya ushindi. He wait yale ambiwa inuka. Chukua mkeka na utembee. Get up, pick your mat and walk. That is how powerful our God is. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. What do we learn from this scripture? We learn that healing comes from uh, the savior himself. Uponyaji unatoka kwa Yesu mwenyewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uponyaji wa jambo lolote lile liwe ni jambo la aina gani liwe ni ngumu namna gani Yesu Kristo hapo na suluhisho We learn that healing comes from savior from the savior himself who is Jesus Christ Praise be the name of the Lord Healing comes from the savior that is our Lord Jesus Christ As we minister to you the word of God makes you whole As I speak to you this word of God can make you whole again. As I minister the word of God unto you, the word of God can even heal you. The word of God can make you whole again from what you have been suffering from. Any challenge, any rejection, financial crisis, family rejection, Jesus Christ can do it for you. Amen. Because healing comes from Jesus Christ. We need to honor the Son of God, Jesus Christ, because He represents the Heavenly Father. We need to honor the Son of God, Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ represents our Heavenly Father. Kwa hivyo tukiliita ilo jina, ambalo ni jina lenye mamlaka, ambalo ni jina linalo uweza, mambo inaeza kubadilika, because we worship a God of many chances. Praise be the name of the Lord. We also learn every day God works on us to make us what we need to be for him in this life. Every day God works on us. We learn that through the scripture that every day God works on us to make us what we need to be for him. Not for me. Not for you. But for him. Every day when you feel that it's like you, you are wearing out. I have been waiting for too long. Jesus Christ is working on that particular issue to change your story for his honor and glory. We also learn we might be having many flaws in life but God daily helps us to change these flaws to become the man that he desires us to be. Jesus is working every day and to our lives to make us what he wants us to be so long as we are in him. Yes. Don't think that you are alone. Keep on trusting on the Lord. Keep on being there. Waiting upon the Lord. Crying upon the Lord. Because Jesus is working every day to change your flaws. To make you what he desires you and I to be. Mwana yesu asifiwe. Unaeza ona ni kama umefika kikomo. Nimi sioni pale ni taenda. Sioni maisha yangu. Hata mpaka unanza kujitabiria umasikini. 
mpaka unaanza kujitabiria kushindwa ila Yesu anakushughulikia anashughulia anashughulikia itaji lako kila wakati kila dakika na ni vyema kuzidi kuongoja Kiwete alikaa pale for that eight years oh my god that was great patience at eight years How many has of us unaweza kukaa kwa labda angeambia watu wao uje ni mnipeleke nikuletee nyumbani mimi nimechoka sasa that is what we end up doing giving up giving up when the answer does not come as quickly as we expected tunachoka tunakata tamaa never give up so long as you are in the lord never give up never give up never give up because god jesus christ is working on us day and night and god desires to make us better day in day out bwana yesu asifiwe je ni hali gani ambaye imekutatiza katika maisha yako ni hali gani even at times you don't want to share with your friends because you feel ashamed most of the time you think that people do not know and maybe they have branded you names huyu wako hivyo ah huyo tumemzoea eh hakuna kitu chema kinaweza toka kutoka kinaweza patikana kutoka kwa you have started giving yourself excuses ya kwamba nimeomba nimechoka sijui nimefanya nini we worship a god of many chances we worship a god of many chances who is able to change our story bwana yesu asifiwe do you want to be well do you want to be well jiulize katika moyo wako do you want to be well Jesus Christ is asking you do you want to be well are you giving excuses the question is very simple do you want to be well evaluate yourself and evaluate your christian life evaluate the chances the challenges you've gone through evaluate and count the many times that you have failed and know that we worship a god of many chances and know that it is not over Jesus Christ is not over with you Jesus Christ can change the story Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hebu tusimame Simama jiulize kwa moyo wako Do I really want to be well Ama nataka kukaa tu katika hiyo hali Katika hali ya maombi naomba ni, mu, ni, ni kwa heshima zote Nimuite mchungaji Pastor Roda akuje aweze kumalizia. Nilipo Yesu yote yanawezekana. Alipo Yesu yanawezekana. Alipo Yesu alipo Yesu. Ima na imani ya kwamba yote yanawezekana. Ya na wezekana alipo Yesu ya na wezekana alipo Yesu alipo Yesu wote
za Bwana usiku wa leo. Wewe unajua ni hali gani unamwambia Yesu angalia? Unajua ni usito mgani unamwambia Yesu angalia usiku wa leo? Mwambie Yesu ulivyomnenea yule mtu, nenea hali yangu usiku wa leo. Mungu wetu na baba yetu tunasongea mbele zako usiku wa leo. Tunakuabudu tunaliinua jina lako. Ni kwa maana jina lako ni ngome imara Jehova. Wewe ni Mungu wa nyakati zile na utabadilika. Wewe ni Mungu unayetawala hata leo Jehova. Na hivyo basi Bwana tunavua heshima zetu mbele zako. Tunanyenyekea kwenye kiti chako cha rehema usiku wa leo. Bwana tumesikia neno lako Jehova. Uende tumeingia na mazito ya familia. Uende tumeingia na mazito ya kazi. Uende tumeingia na mazito ya huduma. Uende tumeingia na mazito ya watoto wende tumeingia na mazito ya waume na wake wetu wende tumeingia na mazito ya kanisa lako Jehova nisi tunaomba wewe uonee katika siri Mungu wa majeshi nene hali zetu nene hali zetu usiku wa leo rewrite our story again oh god may you change our history tonight in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and our Father You are the Lord that does much more than we can think. You are the Lord that do great and mighty things, oh God. For that it is true we might have been giving excuses, oh God. It might be we have reasons as to why we are still where we are. But tonight we want to believe in your word. The Lord you are telling us to get up and walk, to get up and receive our miracle, to get up and receive your favor, Lord, to get up and serve you like never before, to get up and receive our blessing. Lord, we want to believe in your word tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Wewe Bwana utendaye miujiza. Tunaomba kwa sababu ya kila mmoja ameingia maombi ya usiku wa leo. Jehova nisi naomba kwa imani ili Bwana ukafikie hali zao, ili Bwana ukawapanguza machozi, ili Bwana ukaandike historia yao tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ni kwa maana wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu. Ni kwa maana wewe ni Mungu usiyeshindwa Jehova. Asante kwa neno lako Jehova. Tupe kuamini ya kwamba Yesu bado unaona, ya kwamba Yesu unageuza hali zetu katika jina ya Yesu Kristo Jehova nisi. Tunakuabudu Bwana. Tunapotoka katika ibada hii, Lord we will not be invalid. Lord our situations will not remain to be the same again. Lord we are rising and shining for the glory and honor of your holy name because God you have done it for us pokea sifa pokea utukufu kama kuna wale wameingia ni wagonjwa bwana tunatamka uponyaji wasiona kazi tunawaitishia kazi wasiona amani tunawanenea amani katika mioyo yao usiku wa leo tunanena amani katika familia zao tunanena amani katika sehemu zao za kazi tunanena amani katika utumishi wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo Jehova Lord, we want to stand in the gap tonight and pray for Charlo Jehovah God who has been left by a relative. Mungu wa majeshi tunamuinua kwako usiku wa leo. Wewe ambaye unasema ya kwamba unatufariji, tunamwambia faraja sitokazo kwako katika jina la Yesu Jehovah. Inua familia hiyo, wapanguze machozi katika kipindi kita msiba katika jina la Yesu Kristo Jehovah. Tunaomba ni kwa sababu hata ya tu ibada ya Jumapili, Bwana tunakataa ibada za kawaida. Tunalika roho wako mtakatifu ili nguvu zako zikatembee na kuyayayusha kila nguvu za giza katika jina la Yesu Kristo Jehovah. Tunawaombea wanena tunawaombea wanakwaya tunawaombea praise and worship ili bwana ukawatumie kwa utukufu wa jina lako baba we want to pray because of our reverend Jehovah God fundraiser that will be on sunday Jehovah God we dedicate it unto you we pray dear lord god even for the remaining days may you give him grace together with his family even as he continue to plan father we are praying for an open heaven we are praying for divine breakthrough in the name of jesus christ our lord and our father asante mungu wetu ni kwa maana ni mungu usiyeshindwa tunaombea mungu wa mateshi wote ambao hudhuria katika kanisa hili 
Bwana tumewadai katika maombi haya ya siku ya leo. Jehova nisi ukawape kuja kutafuta uso wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Our God and our Father we glorify you. May you remember our leaders, the development leaders, the LCC leaders, the WCC leaders of God. Or even as they lead us in this church, give them wisdom that come from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bwana tunanenea mchengo ambao unaendelea. Uenda Bwana umechukua miaka nyingi kama hali ya yule ya mtu Jehova. Mali usiku wa leo Jehova. We are pray for a change. Tunatuma nguvu zako Bwana. Tunafungulisha mradi huo katika jina la Yesu Jehova. Ni kwa maana utainua kanisa hilo. Watu wako wakakuabudia mahali pale. Ni kwa maana we ni Mungu mweza yote. Pokea sifa, pokea utukufu Bwana. Asante Bwana ni kwa maana tunapotoka mahali hapa. Tunaenda na imani ya kwamba Bwana unageuza historia zetu. Bwana unaandika historia zetu upya tena. Bwana unageuza hali ambazo zilionekana zimeshindikana katika jina la Yesu Kristo Jehova. Asante kwa mnenaji wa siku ya leo. Bwana tunamwombea neema na kibali chako. Kazidi kumsaidia na polihubiri neno lako. Jehova nisi ukamdumishe akakupende na akakujue zaidi na zaidi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana tunapotoa sadaka zetu, tunaomba ili baba ukazitakasi. Na tunapotamloka na kwenda nyumbani, Jehova nisi tupe kuamini ya kwamba wewe Yesu uliona hali siku zile, unaona hata leo na umezinenea na kutakuwa na utofauti. Inuliwa tukuka ni kwa maana wewe ni Mungu na ni kwa jina kula Yesu Kristo tumeomba na tumeamini. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate our God tonight?